Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today's new video. My name is Omar Valero and today I want to show you how you can create custom thumbnails for your YouTube videos. As you see right here in my, in my channel, I have like a 1, 000, uh, 100 videos uploaded and every single one of them have a different thumbnail that I created with one specific platform that I will show you uh, just in a moment and also I'm going to show you step by step how you can create this, this thumbnail, okay? Um, the first step that I make when I, I want to create a thumbnail for uh, YouTube videos uh, is um, look for uh, keywords or related keywords for my, for my video. So actually what I make is go to my uh, Keyword Explorer for, for an, an extension from my TubeBuddy um, from a two-byte extension, Chrome extension, and uh, look for um, for the more compelling title that I can I can create. Okay, in this case, for this specific video that you are going to find, uh, I came up with this with this title: of How to make custom thumbnails um, on YouTube for free. Okay, and that is going to be actually the 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 title of the video. And also, I can use this information to you to uh, place it on my on my thumbnail. And you can I can use also some related tags like uh, how to make a YouTube thumbnail, a YouTube thumbnail, uh, something shorter that uh, keeps the attention of the people, uh, captures the attention of the people that it actually mission uh, from the from the YouTube thumbnail. Okay. Once you have selected or or have the idea where you are going to place on that. Um, on that thumbnail, um, some other thing that you can make with this specific tool is uh, look for the results that are for this um, for this title. Okay, so you can see also um, what other people is doing and have some ideas uh, of what to what to make. Uh, as you see, most of the people just use uh, face and pointing to a title or something like that, like. Uh, like big influencers or like uh, Nick Meme, they always use this kind of, of thumbnail. Um, I'm going to make a, something a bit different with less text, um, I think, but more, a bit more catchy, okay? Uh, so once I have the idea of what I, I want, to, want to use, I go to my Canva account, canva.com. You will find the link down below in the description to, um, to this place. Canva is um, a creator studio, okay? Uh, you can create here a lot of pictures right, with different sizes um, specific for any any, um, any social media account or, or uh, specific for banners or for books. They have some different templates that you can use for um, for anything that you, can, you want to create um, online. Uh, this this um, this web page is actually free to join, but it has some limits. Uh, but for for you, for starters, is more than enough. Okay, uh, if you want, you can take the pro version for about twelve dollars a month, and um, you have some extra features like more photos to use, more pictures to use. Uh, you can create folders in order to organize your your work, your projects. Uh, you can add. Um, fonts and colors for your branding, so it's more easy for you to create branded content and so on. Some different features that you can um, can help you to save some some time when while creating uh, this kind of of projects. But for starters, it's more like enough with the um, with the free version. Okay, just for um, for creating an account, click on sign up with Google or sign up with Facebook or just sign up with your own email if you want. You don't want to sign up uh, with one of these companies. In my case, I have already my account, so I just going to log in with my Google account and then go to the next step. Okay. Just give me a second and it's, it's trading right now. Okay, so this is the dashboard that you are going to see when you uh, log in uh, with your with your credential. Okay, um, you can go here to this place and just create something uh, from these templates like 
animation for social media. This is quite new and is actually um, impressive, okay? Um, they have templates for presentations, for posters, for um, Facebook cover pages, for, um, for magazines, for, um, for logos, etc., etc. And down below you will find all your, all your designs, okay? All the designs that you create along the time. Uh, on my case, I have a um, template for my thumbnails where I have stored all the thumbnails that I have been made and and some um, so I, I have it's more easy for me to to modify these thumbnails and then um, place it on my videos. But if you don't have anything um, on this place, uh, you can just go to this uh, search bar and look for um, YouTube, okay? In this case, we select the, uh, the YouTube thumbnail, which is uh, a site of um, 1200, um, 1200 um, pixels by 700 pixels, more or less. So these are the ideal dimensions for a YouTube thumbnail. Once it loads, uh, you will find a bunch of templates that you can use right here, okay? So if, um, for example, if your YouTube channel is about music, uh, go right here and you will find some inspiration on that. If your um, YouTube channel is about food or if uh, it's about beauty or it's about tutorials, like, for example, this one, uh, going, to this, um, going to these templates could be a good idea. In this case, this is a tutorial, so I'm going to use um, some of these templates. I'm going to explore these templates. Um, as I want to look for something that um, tells people how to create um, YouTube thumbnails, um, I, can, I can make something like um, this. For YouTube, so our tutorials. Um, in this case, um, I like this, I like this thumbnail. But for using this specific, um, this specific background, uh, what I actually don't want, uh, you need to take out the Canva uh, watermark. What, um, what you need to pay more for for that for each um, premium feature for each premium picture that you want to use. You need to pay. Okay, uh, it's usually just a, a one dollar, but I don't want that. So I'm going to just uh, search for a picture of. Um, something related with um, with a channel, okay? Um, let's just type YouTube and I was I want I don't want to pay for my picture and I will type I will um, push that uh, free button okay and in this case let's just use um, something like uh, like this for example. Okay, so this is a Mac window, uh, a Mac display with a YouTube channel on the back. Okay, and in this case, I'm going to place this right here. And I'm going to use some elements, some extra elements to um, to place my my um, uh, my text. Uh, I like the gradient, so I'm going to use this. Uh, place it right there. I can just rotate this as much as I want, and I can make this um, as bigger as I need. Okay. In this case, I'm going to place uh, like this, just showing the 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 iMac and the YouTube channel on the back. And I'm going to change the colors, of course, to something more more YouTube. Okay, red and maybe black and red on the top. Yeah, something like this. Uh, you can change also the color select any other color you want. 
So this looks a bit more like the YouTube branding. And then I'm going to play some, some text, okay? You can use also um, these templates for, for text. Uh, and actually, I'm going to use this one, the, the bigger text. Or you can just... Um, no, I don't like this one. Let's erase it. I don't like this one. I'm going to use another one. Um, okay. This right here, but not the upper text or the other text. Just this design, um, graphic design text. And I'm going to play something like um, YouTube thumbnail, um, thumbnail in five minutes. So you can play with the thumbnail. You can play with the with the side of of the letters with the sparsing with every um, just right here, okay. And the the side of of the letters is in this small text box. So you can select how how big you want this. And as I want um, some, some different some different lines, I'm going to um, make this bigger. I want all bigger. This and it's some more sparsing in, in this. Um, in these letters, but in every single letter, okay. So more inline expressing, okay. And so you want you can change the anchor uh, of the text. So if you want this to be um and on the on the back just click on this button and you will see that um, it moves from back to from the bottom to to top okay and actually what I might I'm going to make some some changes I, I don't want this YouTube text right here um, I want my I want this a bit more right there, and I'm going to change the color of the text a bit more white. And I don't like the the text, so I'm going to change it. Uh, clicking on this to another uh, font. Um, Futura T is um, a good font for for internet. Is um, this bold is is really clear to to read, and let's reduce a bit this parsing, and let's find something that that says um, YouTube. Okay, I'm going to find an element uh, that says um, YouTube. Difference between pictures and elements and elements are drawings. Okay, something that is draw um, and is not taken with a, a taken with a camera. Okay, let's just search for the free stuff and 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 let's play this big play right here and also I'm going to use the same. Uh, the same font, the same font to say uh, YouTube, but I'm going to reduce this a bit, and I'm going to place it right here. Uh, 
a bit bigger. Okay, and I'm going to use just these letters in black. You can change also the uh, the colors of, of this, so it looks more similar to to YouTube or to whatever you, you want. And also I can change the actually the the side of this of these letters to something more bigger or something smaller. Uh, no, I don't like it, I want to leave it just like that. So this is my thumbnail for this specific video that you are watching right now and you uh, actually are going to be really familiar with, with this when you when you see it. Um, once you have your thumbnail, uh, what you make is just download right here on a PNG format, okay? It's better for um, for the internet, it has better quality, and then click on download. If your image has a transparent background, just go, uh, just click on right here on the transparent background, and it will conserve the, the, the background transparent, just like these pictures, these elements that are right here, that has, uh, as you see, a transparent background, okay? So this is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was um, this was useful for you. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Remember to subscribe if you like the content, and see you on my next video.